Hey there again, folks. Welcome back to a New Day, New Game. Today we're playing Little Imps, a dungeon builder. Now, I normally try to start this on the main screen, but you didn't give me an option to. It loaded, uh, it took me it took a few uh, moments to load up, and then, yeah, it had nothing, and then it just popped up with this, so. Okay. Uh, but anyway, I would like to thank the folks over at Up Jaws for uh, let me try this game out for free. Say that loud, it almost sounds like something else. But I'm going to assume that's not what it, uh, not what it's intended to. Um, yeah, I have a store page, uh, the Steam page pulled up over there. It, it, it does make me a little leery because I see that off the, off the, uh, the review ratings is mostly negative. So. Yeah, I'm not sure what, what to expect here, but this out, but this looks like a dungeon keeper uh, type game, and I love me some dungeon keeper. I never played a lot of the first one, but I love the crap out of the second one and uh, War of the Overworld. Love that game or Underworld, War of the Underworld or Overworld. One of them, <laughs> I really loved it. So anyway, okay, welcome to your dungeon master. You need more earth imps. Expand your dorm. Have two dorm floor tiles in your dungeon. Zero to place two beds in your dorm. Okay. Oh, oops. So that's thrown. Okay, that's a bed. So this is a door. Is this my dorm? Oh. That is where it told me mine, isn't it? That's what it. Great, now you've got your hands free. Grab one of your imps and double click them and place them next to the rocks. Oh! I have to pick them up. Okay. It's doing it, so I don't need the arrow. Thank you. Okay, good, good. Click the complete. Pins as soon as they arrive to complete a job. That way you fi you finish laying the tiles and removing the rocks. Let's say I uh, remove pins. Whoa! Okay, claiming the tile. Okay. That's 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 dungeon keeper. Very similar to that. Dungeon floor tile is fully laid. Click the pin to complete the job. Why do I have to complete the pin to Okay? Why do I have to uh click on it to finish the thing? Why can't it just be done? It's confusing. Mm -hmm. Ah, the earth imp is done. Now let's buy some floor tiles for him to lay. Click on the dorm in the menu bar. Okay. Oh, okay. Dorm. Wait, what? Oh, I had to click on buy? Okay. Buy. Best to buy more than one floor tile at a time. We need two. Okay. Oh, now I place them. Okay. I have to grab my imp again? Okay. Wait. Do I right click or left? What? Did that tell me to pick him up? That tell me to pick him up. 
Oh, he needs sleep. Well, go to sleep. He's looking for a job. You've got a job. Lay, lay the things down. No, I don't want to. I want the imp to go do it. Imp, go do it. What did he say? I double double clicking him. Really? Okay, double clicking. Okay, double click. I, it, it said double click, so that's my fault. Good. I mean, evil lord, being be could he be any slower? We'd best build some beds in the meantime. Click on dorm in the menu bar. Okay. Oh, and then, wait. Gotta buy another one? Okay. I mean, yeah, it said two. Okay. Now let's wait for the for the imp to finish laying the tiles. Yeah, he's done, he's done laying them. Yay! Welcome to your dungeon, master. You need... Okay, I already did that. Eight experience, some gold, and ten crystals. Okay. What is that? Fire basket and wall torch. Okay. Have twelve dorm tiles. I've got eight out of twelve and one fire basket. One thing I'm already seeing that's a problem with this game is... There's more clicking than ha than you need. There's definitely more clicking than you need. You should just be able to go like, boom, boom. That's it. And also, you shouldn't have to like tell your imp to go. You shouldn't have to pick your imp to go pick it up. I mean, if you're going to, uh, my thinking is, if you're going to take the idea of like dungeon keeper, you know. I mean, I get that you don't want to like, completely copy it, but you don't want to do something that would intentionally make it not fun. And uh, these extra, the extra tediousness of it, and uh, like having to micromanage, you know, uh, that that's, that definitely feels like it would be uh, taking away from like just. Getting on with it, you know what I mean? Like, oh, he does a towel. Okay, I have to click on it to finish the towel. Oh, he does a towel. Oh, he's he's digging the thing. Got to do it to dig the thing. Yeah, that's uh, to me. Yeah, dungeon keeper. You just did like. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Well. Yeah, you just do like that. You just drag it, and your imps just go there. And they, like, level up and stuff. Now is it, oh, okay, well, okay. Well, that's nice, at least. The guy wandered by there, and he was like, yeah, hey, I guess I should do this job. <laughs> but it's still no point, uh, no real reason why I'd have to go like that. To have it finish up. Pre-dungeon increases your glory level and makes the monsters arrive faster. Let's buy a fire basket. Click on the dungeon icon in your menu bar. Fire basket. Okay. Buy it. And place it. Okay, just place it anywhere. You're not going to tell me where to place it. So, okay. Place it by that. I'm not really sure. Oh, how beautiful! Let's wait for your imps to be done and place the floor tiles for the dorm after that. See, they could be done with the thing already while I was doing that. Okay, hurry up. I can click on it. So yeah, that, definitely feel like this should be sped up more, you know. So you get to the more fun part. I don't know how, you know, what fun parts there are in this game, but 
I am going to make the, the assumption that there are fun parts in it, you know. You can play several floor tiles at a time. This this time we're fine with four tiles. Choose one tile, then click the buy button and change the display to four. Okay. Okay. Four. And that part right there. I don't like a dungeon keeper. Um, I feel bad. I, I feel maybe I shouldn't co keep comparing this dungeon keeper, but it's pretty close to dungeon keeper. In the way it is, so I feel like that's an appropriate comparison, you know. But in it, you know, you just select this and just drag it. You know, you don't have to go like boom, 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 boom. So I could drag it. Well, I couldn't, it didn't uh, let me drag it, but I place it down anyway. Also, I'm going to click on the four new fields and, okay, yeah. Done that. Now, we'll, one thing I am noticing, this game is an early access. So it's possible that there could be changes, but one thing that I do see, the last update was March the 7th. This is almost September, so that makes me a little worried that this may not be become a finished product. Of course, you know, it could, it could still be, but that makes me leery, you know. Because most of the other early access games that I played, you know, for this, you know, for this right here, have pretty frequent uh, updates, you know, with content and, you know, fixes and that stuff like that. So, yeah, it does make me a little bit worried. Okay, so I'm guessing we're gonna get somebody new, right? We got an earth them. Upward stairs. Do we have a quest? We can make a wall torch. Proving the dorm. Okay. Well, it looks like there's other monsters here. The bank, treasure chests. I don't know what's in these chests. I don't. Bank. You can like change the purple crystals. I'll open special message. It's Fifty percent off. This don't have. Uh... No, I don't have any like microtransactions. Get the prison off. Hmm. Now, it, it does say online co op. Take on Dragon every time launch? I don't know what this stuff means! Um, but okay. Uh, I'm assuming Horde means like a guild. To join a Horde or start a new one, you must be at least level 20. I don't even know how to do anything on here, though. 
Okay, can I build anything here? Nope, can't build anything there. Throne room? Don't see anything to do there. Wall torch? I can make a wall torch. Um, oh yeah, and then place. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we already have some wall torches. Okay. What's the experience? What's my experience? I, I see experience, and uh, these things are locked up behind levels. Like to get these, you have to have level three. I'm assuming level four for that one. But where is the experience bar? I don't see one. I might be blind, but I don't see one. Game. There's achievements. There's a lot of achievements. Not Steam achievements, just in-game achievements. I wonder if that gives out experience. Maybe doing those give out experience. But again, where is the experience bar? Is my question. Is this the experience bar? Ah, it is. Okay, over on the side. Uh, yeah, okay, you can see it there. Okay. Strange place for an experience bar. I would expect them more on the bottom. Typically where it would be at. So I need to get 22 experience for to get something else. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, how much gold? I have about 8,000 gold. I can buy more beds. Do, do these give experience? Okay, there we go. Following items and researchers are now unlocked. Kitchen, stock pot, and storage cat. Okay. Okay, so... I was wondering there for a second whether or not, uh, by the way, the cord of my headphones was bumping against my leg. I was like, is that a spider? That's never a good feeling. <laughs> is that a spider on me? <laughs> um, okay. So you can. I, I thought there was a, there for a moment we were stuck. But okay, you can keep going. I think I am going to go and end the video here. Um... I see the video, the game's not grabbing me. Um, like I said, I like games like this, dungeon, dungeon-ish type games, you know, like a similar Dungeon Keeper, War for, War for the Overworld, I'm fairly certain it's a title for that one. Um, yeah, it's just not grabbing me. But it is an early access, so it could improve, but been about half a year since the last update. March, when was it? March 27th? So it's been, what, five months? Oh, I'm not. March, April, May, June, July, August. Yeah, that's six months. It's been, it's been over six months, over half a year. So yeah, that does make me a little, a little leery about the, uh, about the game uh, continuing, but how much is it? It's twelve dollars. Yeah, I would not, I would not recommend this game for twelve dollars. No, don't recommend it for twelve dollars. If, uh, but the link is down in the description below. You can check out the game for yourself. If you do want to get it, that's your decision. Um. And, you know, you can put it on your wish list and keep an eye on the game and see if it does improve over time. But, yeah, as it is now, I, I do not think it's worth, I did say 12 right? Yeah, $11.99. So, yeah, $12. So, so yeah. It does have a community, though. 
a small community. Uh, I'm guessing. I don't know how active how active it is that the people on it are, but there are guilds or, or hordes, I should say. So there is that. <laughs> so yeah. Apparently, Celtic dwarves are are, are, are the champs. <laughs> Yeah, they are. They're, they're uh, double the amount of points in the uh, second place. But anyway, that is all, all for this one. I do sincerely hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye there, folks.